When working in OneNote, sometimes it may feel like we've lost some files. But don't worry, OneNote has us covered. The first thing that OneNote has is a powerful search capability that will search not only our notes, but also pictures, handwriting, audio, and video recordings. And we should be able to find our lost files and notes in no time flat. The easiest way to do this is in the search dialog box. Pop in what you're looking for. I'm going to type in the word clear and I can see my vendor list has the word clear. Let's go ahead and select that. OneNote has found two instances of the word clear. I can also filter on this search by section, section group, or the notebook. If you recently upgraded your version of OneNote, you may have noticed that some of your notes are missing. To locate these missing notes, you will select Quick Notes from the Notebook dropdown. In my case, I don't have any notes here because this is a brand new installation. If you did have any of your missing notes here, you would then save those back to your original notebook. We'll pop back to our weddings notebook. If you're working on a shared notebook, sometimes notes can be lost because the sync hasn't occurred to all the shared locations. The easiest way to fix this is to manually sync the notebook to do so. On the title of the notebook, right click and then sync this notebook. You can also use the keyboard shortcut Shift plus F9. Once the sync is completed, have the other people who are using that shared OneNote see if they can see those files. Another place to look for lost notes is in the recycle bin. You will find the recycle bin under history. Select Notebook Recycle Bin and be sure that you select the top option Notebook Recycle Bin. The second option will empty the recycle bin and that will not help you in recovering lost files. In our example, we have deleted pages as well as a deleted section. To restore a deleted section, right click on it and then select Move or Copy. Select the notebook where it needs to go and then move or copy whichever one works for you. We can now see the postcard section is back in the weddings notebook. By default, the recycle bin will keep your data for up to 60 days. We can also set up a backup schedule for our notebooks. To do so, click on File, Options, and then Save and Backup. By default, OneNote already creates a backup for us. This default setting will backup the notebooks every week. We can adjust this. I'm going to select 10 minutes. We can also select the number of copies to keep as well. This is also one of the locations where we can force a backup. To do so, select Backup All Notebooks Now. Our backup completed successfully, and we can select OK. We do have a pop-up here letting me know that one of the changes that I have made may not take effect until I start OneNote. I'm okay with that. You now know how to find lost files and back up your notebooks. But what if the unthinkable did happen and you had to restore a backup of OneNote? Well, it's really simple to do. You'll go back up to File and then Open Backups. Here you'll have a list of your backed up notebooks. Select the notebook that you need to restore from. I'm going to select Upcoming Weddings, and then Open. You'll notice this opens a notebook called Open Sections. From here, I can simply go ahead and move or copy my section or page back to another notebook. In the case of Vendor, I can move or copy this back to the Weddings Notebook. In this case, I only have the option to copy. If we pop back into the Weddings Notebook, you'll notice that I have the original vendor section, and I also have the restored version. Searching and recovering your notes in OneNote is incredibly easy to do, as you just saw. For tips and tricks, see the OneNote Help Center.